Hello there, guys, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of All Ages. My name is Coach Shadonkster Born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to the third and final early predictions video of 2021. Predicting for 2022. I can't believe we are like, you know, nearly a third of the way through 2021 already. It's unbelievable. Uh, but this is the Melon Entertainment's predictions. Uh, this one, in my opinion, I think Six Flags is definitely exciting because there's a few that we don't know about. Cedar Fair, not as exciting, so we knew about a couple of them and, you know, most of them will have off years because of the COVID-19 stuff, however. But, predicting the mil the five main Millen Entertainment Parks, Alton Towers, Thorpe Park, Chessington, Gardaland and Heidi Park, they've been the most exciting for me because I think the 2022 could be very, very exciting for the chain and uh, could be a really, really... Uh, interesting year so these are just my early predictions things can change things can happen uh, but we're going to share them in this video so before we get started guys make sure you like comment subscribe click the okay bell so you never miss another youtube video make sure you go to the description down below where you can find links to twitter tiktok instagram snap channels the discord server and also uh, the google forms link to suggest your video ideas and content suggestions and for now, guys, let's go through every single of the five main Merlin parks, excluding the Lego parks, and talk about my early 2022 predictions. So kicking off is the Alton Towers Resort, and I've got two routes. Uh, now, of course, these two routes can combine to provide one route. Uh, however, um, we could look at individual routes for this one. So the first route on its own is the major refurbishment of Nemesis in the Forbidden Valley section of the park. We knew about the rumors about this. That's a very heavily watched video, so thank you very much, guys, for that. Um, but... What we're talking here is new track, retra uh, new trains, a retrack, replacement supports, additional storyline changes, theming surrounding the ride, etc. Loads of additions and changes to the ride. Station would pretty much be, you know, fairly unchanged because it was refurbished a few years back, but you never know. They could make some adjustments to it. And, you know, just, just painting it up. Maybe they open the extension queue line up again. Do you remember uh, walking back there and walking through that extension queue line? And imagine if they open that up again. That would be really nice. Uh, but overall here, we're looking at probably what we were probably speculating about the refurbishment in the first place. A complete retrack. And, of course, the uh, apparently the rumour is you can't do the old trains with new tracks. So if they are going to look at completely retracking the ride... Uh, with new supports as well, then we're looking at new trains for the ride, which, you know, theming-wise, they can do some really good trains. If they can do it, they can do some really cool-looking themed trains, so they've got a really good opportunity to completely bring the trains up to modern standard and really revitalise the design of the trains and the theme of the trains. But I think, you know, some people, I, I think with the trains comes the new uh, vest restraints. So it should be interesting to see what everyone's predictions of the vest restraints will be if this happens for 2022. And Nemesis is closed throughout the season. Uh, however, it should be interesting. I think if it doesn't happen this year, it will be uh, for the 2023 season. Uh, but of course, the other route, which could go the same year as the Nemesis refurb, but I think could be an additional route instead of the Nemesis refurb, if that's going to happen in 2023. Um... Is a brand new, is just additional paint ups around the the park, changes around the park, just little adjustments here and there. But the main thing would be a brand new CBeebies attraction in the Nina Science Lab building. Now, we haven't had a brand new ride in there in ages, a good few years now. It's been a good few years since that first closed, and we had no warning about it. Nina Science Lab just closed, but oop, that's it, finished, all gone. And I would like to see an interactive walkthrough experience. Look at what Black Mirror Labyrinth could be at Thought Park Resort. A family version of that where you can interact with the projections, interact with the things going around you in the room, and imagine the kind of shows you could do with that. You could do like an interactive barnyard theme and theme it to the Timmy Time show. You could bring in the Teletubbies and do like a whole thing around there. Because I know they had like a Teletubby show in the, the Big Fun Showtime Arena in, in the area of the park. So maybe go with the, the Teletubbies theme as an actual attraction now. That would be a really cool way to revitalize that building. It'd be a really cool way to bring a new attraction into the area because, you know, we haven't had a new CBBS line attraction now in a good couple of years. In 2022, it'll be three years since the last uh, CBBS line ride. So um, it would be a very nice way to keep the CBBS brand alive with brand new rides and attractions. And I think, again, like I said, both routes could be done at the same uh, time. 
could be done at the same time because you know they could do the nemesis refurb and also the cbb's land ride so very interesting there next up just into world adventures and i think we're looking here at paint ups uh, adjustments tlc refurbishments maybe some new events maybe something to do with the bouncy castle opposite dragon's fury on the patch of land opposite dragon's fury maybe do something like that uh, i think especially coming off of crop drop the drop tower i think we're not looking at anything massive here mate if they're going to do something ride worthy we're probably looking at a couple of kids rides some themed kids rides or something um but i think overall maybe not some ride hardware i think we're just looking at maybe some i think especially with the families coming back and hopefully in 2022, COVID's pretty much gone from the world. Um, we'd like to see the families come back in a big, big way. Look at Thought Park, what they've done with the events. I'd like to see Chessington do some events themed to their parks. So maybe some animal themed events and do it for each of the four seasons. of the of, of, If they're going to open the park 365 days a year, starting in 2022 on January the 1st. I'd like to see them do some... Uh, four seasons events so some spring summer autumn winter and theme it's different animals based on those seasons and you know it'd be really nice to see that happen around the park in different areas as well theme it's different areas around the park as well so i think that an event she would be really cool for chessington world adventures next up gardaland resort and this is probably the most exciting of the lot i'm gonna i'm gonna say this off the bat right now i think this is the most exciting of my predictions here i think this is the most exciting one the reason why i'm gonna say that is because um um, of the rumor video that we discussed um, back in, I think it was a few months ago now, quite a few months ago, and we spoke about Ramesses the Awakening, the Dark Ride, the rumor that was going to get ripped out from the interior, and there was going to be a rumored launched dark family coaster, maybe an Intamin, maybe they go down that route, in that building, or some kind of dark attraction. And I'd like to see that. And I've seen a couple of European YouTube channels say like Jumanji Dark Ride or something like that. So my prediction here is that in 2022, we're going to see either an Intamin launched Dark Family Coaster. So again, one of the multidimensional coasters here. Or a Dark Ride, maybe a shooting Dark Ride or just an interactive Dark Ride themed around jumanji or an original a story that's adapted from jumanji and i'd like to see that i think it'd be a really cool way to utilize that site and create like a lost tomb kind of vibe so i think that gardaland could be the one to watch in terms of uh major investments in 2022 i think they're gonna be one to watch so stay tuned about gardaland because i've got a good good feeling about them um so I think the overall Garland could be very, very exciting in 2022. Next up, Hardy Park Resort. And this one is a very interesting prediction as well. They could go with an off year. However, you see at the side, uh, a look of the Mayan Valley area. Now, of course, we spoke about that a couple of years ago on the channel, very early on in the channel's lifetime, uh, about the two rides that were removed from there. I think they're going to use the whole of that Mayan Valley intertwine over the Colossus Battle of the Giants and bring in into that sort of surrounding area towards near desert race as well uh, a brand new mayan themed roller coaster now i don't know what type of coaster they could add at heidi park uh whether that be something compact whether that be something um it can't be a launch because they've got desert race do they go with the single rail are we going to see the first single rail in Milan entertainment probably probably not um it's very hard to con it sort of look at uh, the potential options for coasters at Merlin Entertainments because it's very, very interesting and it'd be interesting to see what they go for. But I'd like to see what I'd like to see what kind of thing they go for. It should be interesting. I, I I don't know what type of coaster for sure, but I think it should be interesting if they go with that. If not, we're looking at an off year and maybe that becomes a 2023 edition in the Maya Valley where where that whole area is. But I think Hardy Park, again, very exciting to watch out for them in a couple of years. I think they're gonna be very exciting to watch. Finally, Thought Park Resort. I think this will be an event year. And now I, I know some people are gonna be like, boo, it's an event year. But don't be alarmed. Do not be alarmed. You could see the amazing events that they've done in their past uh, and the events that could have been in 2020. Um, the, the, I mean, you see, you see like the poster on your screen right now. Uh, the season launch party, the hyper spring, the supercharged summer, and of course, Fright Nights. So they've done some wonderful events at the park, and I think that's not going to change. 
Hopefully, however, 2023 to 2025, I want to see Thought Park add their next roller coaster. Between 2023, might let them off at 2026. I'd like to see them add their brand new roller coaster, the next brand new roller coaster at the theme park. And I think that, again, this is the next major addition, really, for Thought Park. And I think they'll finally get over the, the hula baloo of the, the rise and fall of Darren Brown's Ghost Train, which is uh, a sad story in a way, because it had so much potential. And I think that the unreliability has cost it in the long term. So, uh, especially with no indoor attractions uh, going on this year at the moment when the park should reopen in April um, I'd like to see them go with a brand new roller coaster in the next few years just to help bring the thrill seekers back to Thorpe Park but for now at least I think an event year isn't a bad thing keep the uh, long term event process of the park going apply to all audiences and then get ready on your brand new coaster in the next few years so uh, for this one I think Thorpe Park it isn't a very sad addition I think it's just to keep going with what you're doing at the minute and uh, see what happens in the next few years so there we go ladies and gentlemen thrill seekers of all ages that is my Merlin entertainment predictions for 2022 my early predictions and there we go that's the last of the three so stay tuned in may uh for the spring predictions of course i do finish uni on, on april 23rd so fingers crossed um you know there's a bit there's gonna be more free time which means i can do a lot more research into specifics now going into these prediction videos in may and of course don't forget Midway through August, we're going to have the final predictions videos about probably a week or two before uh, the Six Flags announcement video usually goes out. Um, but I can't wait. I really, really can't wait for this. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this prediction video make sure you like comment subscribe we are going to do some next five year videos uh, for other parks as well so stay tuned for them uh, throughout the year and for now guys my name is coach shall kill in the coast life and i'll see you guys next video very very soon take care guys have a merlin tastic day and bibbidi bobbidi boop cue the outro